Nakakainis. Nakakainis. Naglalagay siya ng mga buhok. Nakakainis. Naglalagay siya ng mga buhok ko, guys. Ibig sabihin nito, autumn season na. That means fall season for my hair too. And I know it's not just me experiencing this. But hands up sa mga ibang nakaka-experience ng lagas hair. Ang mga victims ng lagas hair season. Isa na ako dyan. Okay? Guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Carsey. And as promised, we're gonna be talking about the most, one of the most important things that you have to know if you're planning to go here in Germany. Or if you're already like in the process of um, going here, you have to know at least an idea about this one. And yes, you're right. We're gonna talk about Anna Kanung's process, recognition exam process. Let's start. Okay guys, so anekenong. Anekenong in English, recognition. Okay? You always hear this one because it's very important. In order for us to work here as nurses, we have to take that exam. Anekenong's proofing or recognition exam. Because it's not just for nurses, you know. It's also for locals or other immigrants who are planning to work here in Germany. And they have to take that one for at least may title sila as nurse or as as any professional dito sa Germany. All right, and for us nurses, uh, even though we're already registered nurses in the Philippines, we still have to take this one. All right, because they have a different um different uh process to become nurses here. Okay, so Anna Kenong's proof. I'll just be explaining some stuff like the process itself and explaining to you what could happen. Anyway, okay, so ano bang process nito? Okay, for one nurse to be to take an Anna Kenong's to take an Anna Kenong's exam, he or she should first have to have B1 or B2 certificate. Egal kung Algemein or Pflege, alright? But definitely, B2 is a requirement for Anerkennungs. Um, exception lang for triple win, because uh, for triple win, they just need like the B1 certificate and they will just fly here and that's the time they will take the B2 um, Pflege or Algemein, depends on the employer's decision, okay? But for other agency, um, travel agencies, you have to take the B2 Flege or Algemein sa Pilipinas pa lang. Then you have to fly here and the state or the regirong or the government of your state will decide if you have to take the Anerkenung or not. Alright. So, Anerkenung. There is two types of Anerkenung muna or, in, or recognition. That's the, the full recognition and partial recognition. Partial recognition muna. So, if you have like B1 um, certificate or B2 certificate, you can be you can be considered as partial recognized, partially recognized. Okay, it will depend. All right, but mostly partially recognized. Yan. But for some nurses who took the B2 flege back in the Philippines. Um, when they got here in Germany, they were already fully recognized. Okay, so it de it will depend on so many factors. First, of course, is the decision of the state, decision of your employer, and it will depend on your credentials, your experience. Okay, I will be giving situations later na masasabi yung okay, ganun pala yung process. Alright? Okay, there are two kinds of Anner Kenning's exam. Um, it will be the Ampasong Slayer Gang and or Kentness Proofong. Okay, so Ampasong Slayer Gang is a kind of like, it's not really you're not going to be taking any exam on this one. But mostly, either you will be rotated in three different areas or more for six months. Alright, um, it can be like depends on your credential and it will depend on where you will be assigned 
the government or the employer will look at your credentials and see what is lacking all right and from there they will see okay maybe she needs more um exposure to the psychiatry department more exposure on orthopedics and so whatnot okay so you will be rotated in different areas which will be decided by the employer or the state i really not sure which but it's a combined decision so for six months okay so let's say three months tito i two months tito sa area na to and then two months on the other area and then two months and then after that it there will be like a decision na either you will be interviewed again or you will be fully recognized after that okay the other type of unpassing stair gang is just taking you will be working already on your assigned area but at the same time, you will be taking this and passing learning or like just a course. Like um, a theory course that you will have to take for six months or three months to six months. It will, six months, it will depend again. So you will hear this a lot from me like this depend. Kasi talagang depende talaga siya. Alright? So, um, pwedeng nagtatrabaho kayo and then two times a week you have to, to attend this course like flaky course or a theory course or nursing pharmacology whatever course that you have to take and after that course it will be decided if you're fully recognized or not okay now the second type second kind of proofong or exam for recognition is the kentness proofong that is the knowledge exam okay so we have three um types of kentness proofong that could be like the mundliche like the speaking exam the shriftliche writing and then the practice that is practical exam like more on um parang return demonstration okay for the mundliche exam that will be it could be like a case presentation where your academic teacher will assign a topic for you let's say um stroke you have to or schlag and fall you have to explain that and do a case presentation auf deutsch in front of your teacher and practice and lighter or kusino man mag exam sa inyo like it's just like a five minute presentation or or depends on rules yan okay or if not a case presentation it could be like a simple interview q and a um with a academy academy teacher or the practice and lighter they will just interview you how you will ha and test your um parang decision making situations in situations like this and like that what if there is a certain situation what will you do what if the patient has an uh, has an epileptic attack what will you do if the patient has pain what will you do so you will have to explain them explain yourself in German again. So, auf Deutsch. Mundliche. Alright? And some other. It's just plain, um, just, you know, normal interview Q&A about your life, about your, about, parang normal interview from Cripple Win. So, they will test how you speak and how you will react to different situations. Okay? Now, for the other one, which is the Schiffliche writing, um, that is, it will depend again, okay? Of course, everything before you take this Kentness proofing, you will have a for writing course or what we call a preparation ex course, okay? It could be like two week course, and everything that will, you know, possible that will come out in the exam, they will discuss to you, okay? So you really don't have to worry and read everything, right? Like read the whole book about Vlege theory because everything you will have a preparation naman for the exam okay hindi nyo kailangan mag panic ng ganyan na kailangan nyo kunin yung lahat ng libro at babasahin nyo yun okay so when you reach here you will have of course a for writing course for that so it could be just like an abbreviation test just like a 20 set of question exam or it could be a 100 set of question exam it will depend on your employer kung paano yan it could be like a multiple choice fill in the blanks or like an essay writing so that will be the kind of proof and the other one is the practice exam or the practicals 
which I did in my in my hospital it's more on red them so they will the academy teacher will watch you how you work how you manage how you do your how you manage your time how you do delegations how you use and navigate the computer how you do your priorities and how you take care of the patient curb your flage pagpapaligo sa pasyente pagwa vital signs paano nit papanoodin kanila kung paano mo ginagawa yun. Okay? Now, being said na may tatlo, if you have to take the candles proofing, it doesn't always have to mean that you always have to take the three. Okay? It could be just the mundleshe or mundleshe and writing or it could just be the practicals, just like me, I just did the practicals, but with a mix of mundleshe because I have to explain the the situation of the patient in German. So, ganun. So, it could be a mix of the three. Not, it's not always like combination of the three. Pwedeng isa lang doon. Okay? So, yun yung Kendall's proof. Oh, and a passing clerical. Okay? So, ito, bago nyo makuha to, you have to first have the BGZAC, the B2 certificate. Now, when it is submitted and you already have the B2 certificate, it will be then decided if you have to take the Anpasong Slergang or the Kentis Proofong. Now, it will be decided by your employer and or by the state. Okay? So, I will be giving you situations from different states kung paano naging galaw ng kanilang recognition process. Okay, so, situation number one. By our letter sender, Ms. Karen Kerante of Stuttgart. So, sa kanila, they have like a once-a-week flege course for two months. Okay? So, they have to attend that once a week while working. Alright? And after that, they will, at this, in the middle of this or during the time they're preparing, they took the B2 Algemeine exam. Alright? Because it's always required for the Anerkennung. And then, after that, after the flege course, they took the Mundliche Proofong. It was just like a sit-down, conversation, Q&A, situational. So, okay, kung nag-aaway ang patient, kung, ag kung aggressive ang patient, what will you do? Yo, so, you have to explain yourself in German. So, Miss Karen Kelante, thank you so much for your feedback. Okay? For our next letter sender is Mr. Fritz Marquez from Uber Bayern. Sa kanila naman daw ay Kentis Proofong. So, of course, again, B2 exam, either Algemeine or Flege, depende yan. So, sa kanila, hindi ko natanong kung Flege or um, Algemeine, but they, of course, they had B2. And then after that, they were given a letter if what what they want to get, if it's Kentis Proofong or Anpasong Slergam. Because the good thing about this is sometimes you can choose between the two which type of exam, would you, which type of recognition would you like to get? So, in this case, they were given a choice. And since their employer is toot, the employer wanted them to take the Kentis Proofong. Because for them, it's like faster now. So, after sa Kentis Proofong, they have, they have to take the Mundliche and practice exam. So, sa Mundliche, they have to like explain the Flege Medicine case presentation. Okay? And for practicals, they just have to show if they know how to remove sefoka, if they know how to um, do vital signs and all that. Okay? And they had, of course, as always for Beraitong or a preparation for two months. And the total of the whole Anerkanung's process was for nine months. Maraming salamat, Mr. Fritz Marquez, for your input and feedback. For our next Letter sender is Ms. Leigh Marbella from Erlangen. Ang nangyari po sa kanila ay they took the B2 Flege and they had to they had a intensive course for one month for that. And then they after that they have to start working and at the same time attend the class two times a week. And they did that for like six months and after that they took the B2 Flege exam now after passing this exam they will be 
in, they will be having a gesprek or client or small interview with the employer. Now, from this interview, it will be decided if they need to take another exam for that or or if they need to take another course for six months or they will be directed um, to fully recognition full recognition okay so fortunately my friend after the ex after the b2 exam there was an interview and she passed that interview and she's an anarchant already thank you miss Lay Marbella for the letter and feedback. So, maraming salamat sa ating mga feedback letter sender at natulungan tayo and at least we now have an idea on how the how, how things go. For myself, my experience is um, with um, Baden-Württemberg, Freiburg area. It's also on Pasong Slergang. But, I received a letter like I have to be rotated in three types of psychiatric department for six months but then since it's also the discretion of the employer the employer like scrapped that out and just decided to for us to just take the practical exam after six months of working so we already started we had like a one month preparation for theory and um culture course and then after one month we started working and during this work, we learn from our mentors, from our seniors. And after six months, that's the time we took the practical anarchanong exam. Like the teacher were just watching us during the whole work. We just do our thing. They watch us, how we work. And then after that, they will decide if we pass the exam or not. So, yun lang naman. So, for I hope this video has enlightened you guys on how the honor kenong sprufong actually work so if you want to know more about can the sprufong or what are the sample tests for this one i would suggest you watch german yen's video because she has this like intensive explanation of that can the sprufong which i wouldn't have time to explain but thank you. I will put the link down below. Um, it's a description. You can watch our videos. And I'm sure there are other videos who've posted about this. Like Aurora's video. I'll try to put everything if I could find all the links here. And uh, thank you so much for requesting for this video. If you have other suggestions or or yet yeah, or suggestions for future videos, just PM me or write them down below. Thank you so much for watching. And before I go, as usual, I always ask you to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And of course, if you don't like that, then just follow me on my Instagram. Puro pakit lang naman yun, pero pakifollow na lang ako. Anding support lang. Thank you so much, guys, and good night. Carsey here, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.